Well, thanks for joining me. Romans 14 and beginning verse 4, Paul is talking about opinions. We must not quarrel over opinions and um, how we should approach um, a situation. We have some people are eating one kind of, um, sticking to one kind of diet and the other, you know, they don't really care. They eat anything, everything. We're not to despise and we're not to judge. He says, who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? We are not to judge. We are not to judge. Now let us ensure what we're talking about here. We're not to judge when it comes to this here on a matter that is disputable, a matter where we've got varying opinions. We're not talking about judging when it comes to um, what the scripture clearly, explicitly talks about. It is before his own master that he stands in thoughts. There's certain things we just leave up to God to decide to judge we leave that person in the hands of god it's not our business and he will be upheld for the lord is able to make him stand remember that god is for us and god is for the other brother or sister also so there and there are many things and we we see them in social media where even among christians we find huge controversies and um you know, one slamming the other on Facebook or on a video or things like that. And they're not clear-cut issues when it comes to the scripture. And this shouldn't be. The Bible says, God, we're all children of God. And as long as we're following what the scripture says, then leave that person for them to examine themselves before God and be accountable to God is not for us to judge. God is able to make that person stand. We need to develop in the body of Christ, I think, more and more today, respect for believers who are of another uh, denomination, um, another church. As long as someone is born again, the Spirit of God is residing in them, their lives have been changed by the Lord. They believe that the Bible is the Word of God. They stick to the fundamental, the essential doctrines of um, the Scriptures. We need to accept that brother or sister as a believer in Christ. And let's stop having these um, controversies and arguments. Let's leave things that our opinions leave them alone and let that person be accountable to God. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls. And he will be upheld for the Lord is able. God loves all his children. Every country, every political party, every culture. And we are all going to give an account to God at the end of our lives. So just leave people alone. In certain areas, we are not to argue, not to um, quarrel over those things. Amen. God bless.